best Cuban sandwich recipe Miami style anywhere. So you've been to South Florida and you've had a Cuban sandwich. Now you want to know how does someone make a Cuban sandwich at home? First you need to know there are two types of Cuban sandwiches. The original found mainly in the Tampa Florida area and the perfected Miami style Cuban sandwich. This recipe is for the better of the two, the Miami style. The ingredients found in the Miami style sandwich can be hard to find outside of South Florida. So let's assume you're in Minnesota and you want to make an authentic Miami Cuban sandwich from the ingredients found at your local Kroger's. Here's what you need. French bread and butter spread. This will substitute for the Cuban bread very well. Yellow mustard, deli sliced black forest ham. This is the substitute for the roasted pork. Next, deli sliced honey ham. This will substitute for the glazed ham crunchy dill pickles sliced lengthwise and deli sliced Swiss cheese. To press your sandwich you can use aluminum foil and your George Foreman grill instead of a panini press. First slice your bread lengthways in half. Next spread a generous amount of yellow mustard on both inside halves. Then on top of the bottom first layer your black forest ham. Next layer your honey ham and then the Swiss cheese. Now the most important part completely layer the sliced pickles on top of the cheese. This specific order of layer is what causes the flavor to burst out. Changing the order will have a big change in the taste of the sandwich. Next close the sandwich, place it on an aluminum foil and completely cover it with butter on both sides. This is necessary because normal Cuban bread is made with lard. To get the flavor from French bread, you need lots of butter. As your George Foreman heats up, tightly wrap your sandwich in the foil. You may need more than one layer, and make it as tight of a wrap as you can. Then place it on the George Foreman grill and let it cook for five to seven minutes, depending on how crispy you want the sandwich. Finally, unwrap your pressed sandwich and make a diagonal slice in the middle at approximately 45 degree angle. Enjoy your authentic flavor Miami Cuban sandwich in the snowy northern winter or anywhere for that matter. Have fun out there.